Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good day. Okay, so today we want to present about the lab 3 which is 3 phase balance load series configuration of Okay, first is demonstrate the profile of variable series connection of RL, RC and RLC in an AC and the three phase power system. Okay, second is investigate and compare the characteristic of RL series connection, RC series connection, and the lastly is RLC series connection under the three phase valence load system with the star configuration. Okay, the equipment or component that we use in this lab or in this experiment, we use resistive fluid, capacitive fluid, inductive fluid, power switch module, controllable three phase power supply, 0 to 400 volt, 2 ampere or 72 per unit, and then lastly is the power quality meter with display and the long term memory. Okay, in this lab, we have three parts. Okay, first is RL series connection. Okay, second is RC series connection. And lastly is the RLC series connection. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Amir Fikri bin Mualis. And today, I'm going to explain about the about lab 3, section A, RL series, series connection. Uh, okay, we're going to go through the experiment procedure. Number one is to set up the following circuit as in figure. So on your, on, on my left, we have the the figure that we have to follow, and as in and it also have shown a step by step to connect. Okay, the second is to connect the resistive load 750 ohms in series to the inductive load in star configuration and set the following inductance level 1.2 Henry, 2 Henry and 3.2 Henry in succession one after the other and, th and the third is switch on the variable transformer and set a phase voltage of 230 volt and then after that turn the power switch on and then we can uh, we can directly read the value from the quality meter and then after that measure in succession in the following so here is the result of the rl series connection so here the, the connection we can get from the digital and this uh, and the XL down here, we must calculate it. And here is the uh, and here is the formula of the calculation. This is the formula of the calculation. So after that, we calculate and then we can get the answer by using the formula. Uh, hello, my name is Ali Murshidi, and today we're gonna continue to section B, which is RC series connection. Okay, uh, we're gonna begin with uh, experiment procedure. First is set set up the following circuit as in figure two, and the second is connect the resistive load with a resistance of 750 ohm in series with the capacitive load in star configuration, and set the capacitance to two microfarad, four microfarad, and eight microfarad, one after the another. And the third is switch the variable three phase power supply on the set the power supply and set the phase voltage to 230 volt and then turn the power switch CO3301 uh, 5p on and then uh, you can read all the value directly from the power quality meter um, and the lastly is measure the following variable and compute the circuit reactors XC okay so this is the result for series connection so as you can see um, uh, the value of uh, current is uh, for 2, two microfarad is 0 0.13 and for 4 microfarad is 0 0.21 and for 8 microfarad is 0 0.27 and the value of power for 2 microfarad is 13 watt for 4 microfarad 
thirty thirty watt, and for eight microfarad is fifty five watt. Okay. Um. So based on the result that have been given, um, we need to calculation. We need to calculate the uh, value of reactants. So they give the reactants a uh, formula, uh, which is X C equal to Q C divided by I square. Okay. So this is the result that we get. Uh, for two microfarad, we got uh, one five. 97.63 ohm for 4 microfarad is 816.32 ohm and for 8 microfarad we got 411.52 ohm ok so uh, based on this result we can conclude that um, when the current when the value of current increase the value of power also increase but the reactant value xc will decrease okay hi my name is muhammad salahuddin uh, and i am going to present a uh, section c which is rlc series circuit so this is the experiment procedure uh, first of all we set up the following circuit as in figure 3 after that, uh, connect the resistive load, uh, which is 750 ohm in series, with the capacitive load, uh, with uh, 4 microfarad, and this is uh, this is this is in series with the inductive load, uh, which is 1.2 Henry connected in star configuration. Uh, after that, switch on the variable three phase of power supply and set a phase voltage of 230 volt and turn the power switch uh, on. After that, you can read all the values directly from the power quality meter. Please uh, indicate the absolute value of the reactive power and also the absolute value of the reactants. And lastly, uh, measure the following variables and compute the circuit reactants. So uh, as we can see, this is the result of RC series connection, and this is the value of XLC that we calculate by using the given formula. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I will share about the conclusion of this experiment. Based of the experiment in lab three. It divided into three sections, the section A, B, and C. In section A, it is a RL series connection. We can conclude that the value of inductance in the circuit will affect the value of power output and the reactance where the value of the resistor is maintained. So the reactant is being calculated using a formula. SL equal to QL over I square. So, if the amount of the value of inductance in the circuit is increased, the value of the reactant will increase too. In section B, it is a RC series connection where the value of the resistor is maintained but only the capacitance is changed. We can conclude that the capacitance will affect the power output and the reactant of this circuit. The reactant will calculate using a formula Xc equal to Qc over I square. The more the value of the capacitance is added to the circuit, the reactant will decrease because the current is increased. For the last section in this lab, it is a uh, section C. It is a uh, RLC series connection where the value of the inductant and the resistor is constant. In this section, we can conclude that the value of capacitance added to the circuit will affect 
the power factor and the value of the reactants. Formula for the reactant in this section is X LC equal to U over I. If the value of the capacitance in this circuit is equal to A, the power factor is going to be ideal. If value of the capacitance is higher or lower than A in this circuit, the power factor is going to decrease and the reactant will going to increase. That's all from me.